Hello everyone, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, back with your spiritual messages for today's tarot channeling. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow, add value to the community. But let's get into it. New year, fresh readings. Hopefully Capricorn season is doing you guys well. Let's adjust the camera a little bit. Grab some Bluetooth. But yeah, we are using a new tarot deck. We've had a chance to play around with it a little bit. We have the Lunar Tarot, another deck by, <laughs> what's her name? Jane Wallace. So I have the, the other one, the Moon and the Stars Tarot. And uh, yeah, I was even thinking about getting um, a new uh, Moonology Oracles deck. But uh, we'll take it one step at a time. So we're going to get into your love messages, of course, uh, and see what's currently surrounding you in regards to love and romance and what's coming towards you in the matters of the heart. Hopefully you find resonance here. Don't force the messages to fit as there are other messages on the channel as well. Check out the playlist. Let's get into it. All right, Spirit, can we have messages for the collective today? What are the Watchers' current romantic energies? What are they attracting? What do they need to know? All right, let me get one more shuffle, and then I'm going to get into your messages. See what needs to be revealed here. Grounding your reading today, collector. We have the page of swords. So someone looking into you, learning. You could even be teaching at this time, or this person is teaching one. So a spy. It could be a young air sign as well. Your first card, two of cups, soulmate energy. So this could be someone that either trusts you or you trusted at some point in time. There is a um, sort of a kinship here, a soul tie, or at least someone that's uh, that has similar values as you, a soulmate would be. Yeah, let's look into it. To a cup. Someone wants to bring a cup to you or share a cup with you. Three of Pentacles, yeah, reconfirming the message. Three of Pentacles is either a prodigy. Or it is someone that works uh, that wants to work with you, right? They want to do some sort of a work collaboration with you. Or they want to connect with you somehow. It could be in regards, in regards to work, finances, right? Same difference uh, or health-wise. This could even be some, uh, someone that uh, looks at you as a student. Or they may be a student of yours. Yeah, teaching the high priestess. Yeah, so someone wanting to work with you in regards to some sort of a spiritual matters. Maybe you're dealing with a pupil or something like that. A professor and a student. Not sure what it is. Could be a spiritual business. The two and the higher priestess um, for the numerology and the two of cups is a synchronicity. And then we have the nine of swords. Distractions here. Could be nervousness or anxiety. It also be some form of a mild mental illness as well, sleeplessness, right, insomnia. It's the mental or the, uh, yeah, mental anguish pretty much. Someone could be obsessing over a work with you or some sort of a connection that they're going to have with you. Four of Wands, yeah. Okay, so what is the key word here? Celebration. Mm. It was also celebration and the um, the moon and stars tarot deck. Yeah, this person, they could be someone that was close to you at one point. You could still very well be close to this person. Need to get more of the energies here. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. So, an Ace of Pentacles is financial windfall, right? It could be a new uh, job opportunity or some sort of a new commitment, right? This could be a new purchase or a lease. Maybe this person wants to bring something towards you or wants to share something with you. For instance, if this is a love relationship and you're dealing with a couple, this could be higher forms of um, 
attachment, basically, like getting a lease together, getting an apartment or a house together. It could even be an incoming marriage. Let's see here. Something with the finances involved, though. Something tangible. Page of Wands could have to do with creativity, some sort of initial um, curiosity, maybe sexual attraction. Again, this could be someone, um, this could be like a teacher, student, or a sensei, pupil dynamic or something like that. Passing of a secret sauce. <laughs> Let's see. The Page of Cups. Yeah, this is a young person, right? Pages could be either seen as naive or something like that, or very youthful, very inspiring, right? Mm. This could be someone that's intuitive, like a budding intuitive, right? Someone just getting their bearings on their spiritual gifts or their intuitive gifts, right? Or simply learning, um, you know, empathy or, um, you know, being an empath, being able to feel energies around them. Maybe even a professional singer or dancer, someone has the ability to be or has the, it's been seated here, the Ace of Pentacles, right? So I can read it in a different way. This is like a gift that someone is able to um, expand upon. It could even bring them financial results as well. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this could be with the High Priestess. This could be some sort of a clairvoyant here, right? Because the Eight of Swords just reminds me of a mental prison, right? It's like chanting or an echo chamber or the recurring uh, thoughts or just like talking the same type of way over and over again. It's like routine, a mental routine. If it's not literally like mental anguish, someone locked in their thoughts about something. It's, it almost reminds me of, um, if I was to explain the Eight of Swords, it's like being stuck in a dream and not being able to wake up here. Or it could just be like an obsessive liar as well, right? The High Priestess is secrets page two pages that is like children right <laughs> that's like um getting in trouble but not you know wanting to admit that you're that you've been caught pre pretty much you know how children do right it wasn't me it was the dog let's see death the end of a cycle transformation too someone was taught a lesson or someone learned something here not that um something about that not everything is that's done in the dark is Oh, well, it's going to come to light at some point. Four of Wands. Yeah, so this could be like the destruction of a household, a friendship, the end of a connection or something like that. You might even be dealing with a karmic, right? So, again, a valuable lesson being learned here. Scorpio Major Arcana, so it's power. Right? What else am I getting here in regards to love and romance? Not really getting anything positive or negative yet, though feels like judgment we had the five of cups grief or loss so okay so some of you guys may out there may be dealing with some sort of a grief or a loss right this could be death or some sort of a sickness mm -hmm. disease may be affecting someone that you know page of wands that's youthful curiosity right adventuring could be a young actor even Let's see. The Six of Wands. It is giving me like rites of passage vibes. But the Six of Wands is also indicative of like a personal celebration, like a, a personal victory or something like that. Or success coming towards you. This could even be the way that people are viewing you, right? They're pedalizing, ped pedestalizing you, or you could be on some sort of a platform. So, again, we could be dealing with teachers, clairvoyance, that sort of thing. Mm hmm. We have the Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to this connection. <laughs> we could have a groupie here. Someone that's very addicted to your energy here. Whatever you want to call them, fans, followers. It's also um, being seen as being like cheap or penny pincher. Like staving off from like... Um, emotional spending this person could have got into in the past the empress Ooh, value mm -hmm. the divine feminine someone's been obsessing over an empress here or a divine feminine 
she comes out on top of the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Now, this may very well, this may very well be someone that perceives themselves as an empress, right? <laughs> That's funny. Displaying a lot of childlike tendencies is what the channel message is. Let's go ahead and clarify death and four of wands, the queen of swords, double clarification on Libra. So this is judgment, like I said. This could be counseling. This could be therapy as well. Again, someone could be dealing with judgment, the court systems, fairness. Uh, Someone may need, like, who know how they say uh, a shoulder to cry on. This would be like an ear to listen to or something like that. This person may even be fiercely confident or, um, ooh, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with composure. Because I don't think this person is a, is a composed individual, right? This is someone, they may very well be strong, which you know how sometimes strong people don't have a strong person to lean on or something like that. It's giving me those type of vibes. This person has a lot of potential here, whatever the age is. A child or like uh, someone in retirement age or when, you know, all the way down to the middle, like people my age as well. However, this resonates for you. The Ten of Swords, overthinking, All right? This is completion when it comes to um, this mental cycle this person is going through. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, and ten. This person thinks obsessively. They could even be dealing with online, online activity and social media with death here. That's medias. And then the Ten of Swords, Gossip and Rumors, Strength. I was just talking about strength. Could be dealing with um, a fire sign, possibly a Leo, confidence. We could be dealing with ego death here. But I think someone's being brought out of the flames. It's, it reminds me of like a, a dying bird, you know, the phoenix. <laughs> it turns into ashes and then it's reborn again. Yeah, someone had has, they have had, okay, so a spell's being broken here. <laughs> Someone has have had to um, come out of some of uh, a deep depression or dark moment to spring back to life is what I'm getting. All right. The star card. Exactly. Healing. We see the light shining through, right? Some people, for instance, um, me, right? I mean, after a couple looks, right? I have you double taken. You realize I'm not such a bad person, right? Um, but regardless, people that don't know me or um, people that have always been trying to figure me out, right? Even, um, so I have to update you guys what's been going on for the past month, right? I've been through a whole bunch of um, tower moments and spiritual awakenings and stuff like that. And um, these events I've been going to, like spiritual events and stuff like that, right? People that normally would not talk to me, like they'll look at me and then, you know, they'll be like, yeah, what can be found in that... <laughs> wooden box not realizing they're looking at a treasure chest or a Prendor's box of goodness right my personality shines through within the first five minutes then they just want to stand around and talk to me for an hour two hours and it's like i might as well pay you, you might as well pay me to <laughs> like stand here and have this conversation with you when i got shit to do you could be dealing with an aquarius or someone sees you as wish fulfillment or places a lot of hope and value on you mm -hmm. The Empress, Page of Pentacles. We have three pages out. So, yeah, you could be dealing with a teacher. Or it's, I'm not sure who you resonate as, as the teacher or the student. <laughs> this, <laughs> look how I'm looking at this. This Page of Pentacles is trying to bring this, this small offer because it's a page. But, you know. They put, they're trying to put effort there, right? This could even be like a token, a token of appreciation. I'm getting like um, death is here. So the only way I can really think of it, even though I have like 10 examples in my head, I can't like pick one. This would be like um, when people die and um, in some traditions, they put coins over the person's eyes so that they can pay the, the, the whoever, the god of death or the ferryman to take them across the water to like um, safe. Uh, passage of the soul or whatever it is this is what it reminds me of but it it's also reminding me of when i used to give like super chats and that sort of thing 
Anyways, someone's trying to come towards this empress, <laughs> this queen of swords, this Libra that this person is resonating as, right? This could be you, someone trying to come to you. <laughs> okay, so there's an apology here with the Page of Cups. <laughs> the Five of Swords, misunderstanding, communication, yep, arguing and debating, right? Revenge in some cases. What is this, controversy? Yeah, the Ten of Swords is already out. Mm-hmm. We have one more row here. So what is this? Is this a breakup? Are you dealing with a stalker? Right. And some of you, this there's someone that has deep admiration for you. They really want to work with you. Others, there's people that just want to um, be in your energy. I'm not sure if they want to like um, reciprocate with you or not. Some of you, when it comes to love and relationships, there has been an investment here. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if someone's invested a lot of time into like researching you or they've just been watching you for a long time. Anyways, let's get the message of the last row of justice. Damn. So karma's being delivered here. Justice being brought to, um, yeah, either you're getting your karma or someone's bringing justice to you, right? Which could be like a balancing of the scales, making something um, bad, right? Or again, delivering, delivering swift justice here, the Queen of Swords. I can't believe it. The Queen of Swords, usually the, the sword is already up. Well, it's up, indicating that at any moment the sword can drop, right? Like a guillotine. But maybe the, um, we're not dealing with such a harsh individual. Right? So again, someone may be seeking an apology, and you know, that may all that may be required in this season is what I'll say. You know, someone's having relationship issues. What do we have? The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so there's the reciprocation. Do I not have foresight? So it's just Libra, Libra, Libra. There's a bunch of Libra in this reading. Six of Pentacles is, is is equivalent to balance, right? It's grace. It's um, volunteering. It could even be a salesman. It comes out on top of strength. Someone could have borrowed your strength or something like something like that. Yeah, it could have been like magic or spell work here. We have a lot. We have the High Priestess. We have Death, right? Papa Legba. I don't know why I'm getting so many channel messages. Oh, yeah, because I haven't done readings in a long, long time. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Someone could have had spiritual protection on them as well. Someone's taking a defensive stance as well. Also, someone's realizing that you're not the one to be fucked with. The Seven of Wands comes out on top of the stars. Like you have, or whoever this is, whoever you're dealing with, <laughs> they didn't realize you was protected, right? I'm not even sure you realize that you're protected. But if you're a high priestess, you already practice, um, you know, protective type of routines and stuff like that, right? Whether it's lavender, right? It's like they say when um, you burn sage in your room <laughs> and that shit make you start coughing, like you want to get out of your own room, you know you have negative energy in you, right? That's like when you, um, anytime someone, not anytime, but it's, it's one of those sayings, right? You do something and somebody complains about it, it's because they have a problem with them. There is a spirit inside of them that's irritating them about it, right? Like women in lavender. We have the Ace of Swords, the truth. Hmm. 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 Justice being brought to this situation. <laughs> like I said, could be dealing with an air sign. Now, they real social media. This could have been some sort of an online bashing, bullying, or something like that as well, or even counseling. This person may have taken a course online. We could be dealing with vloggers and bloggers. We got one more card to uh, pull. Let's clarify this five of swords. This queen of swords, death, and four of wands. It seemed like it affected a close close relationship or home life. This could be family or something like that. Secrets could have come out after someone's death or whatever the case may be. Oh, you want to see my beautiful face. Why don't you just say so? We got the seven of cups. A smoke screen, an illusion. It's intuition, right? 
several cups being offered or several cups being at someone's disposal, right? It can lead to, um, you know, thinking that they're important, the illusion of inclusion, right? Or um, I mean, also getting instant gratification. So this would be like, um, I can't remember the phrase, but having too many options, right? And having to choose between them. All right, so I need to take a look. We got the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, Justice, and Seven of Cups. Yeah, someone has a lot of romantic options, or they could be viewing you in this way. Again, they see you as some sort of a star, a celebrity, right? Whatever it is. I mean, typically in a relationship, and it's always good to practice detachment, but like I always say, in a relationship, your person looks at you as like the next best thing, a sliced bread, right? The key is to not be over possessive, right? Not to be overly attached, right? We don't need codependent relationships, right? Mm, especially if you don't know how to reinvent yourself, right? You're going to drain all the love out of the relationship and then you don't know how to spice things up. It's like, yeah, out of all the relationships that you've been in, you need to look at the most common uh, denominator, which would be you. All right, so if there's a person here that doesn't like to take accountability about why they had all these breakups or I don't know who gets married three, four, five times, who sees that much value in you. But yeah, you gotta look at yourself sometimes and be like, Okay, well I'm doing this. Whether it's work, right? Right, like why do I keep getting fired or why do I keep having problems with my coworkers? It's like, what are you doing, right? <laughs> now if you're this little perfect soul that just sits there and nothing happens to you, then you're a unicorn. But, like, you know if you're a troublemaker. You know if you had that one day just because you didn't have your coffee, you wanted to act the ass, right? Or if you're in a relationship, you know whether or not you're overly um, obsessive, overly draining, right? You know if you're doing karmic shit like stealing money out of your own relationship, right? If you're going to the whatever, because, again, at some point, what is it, 2018? I'm sorry, 2024? Yeah, we're going to a different bargaining system. I don't know why I thought about 2018. Maybe you guys have a connection with um, that year? You married that year or something like that? Or did you meet someone very important that year? What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's close out this reading. It's starting to get confusing and toxic. We got all four pages showing up. The Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Remember, it's at the bottom of this deck. This person keeps spying on you, Two of Wands, watching you from a distance, right? Decisions needed to be made. They, Yeah, again, multiple options. They see kinship with you, but they got multiple options, right? <laughs> I hate to use people as example. Matter of fact, I'm not going to name drop, right? But this is how it is, right? You And then people do this, right? They get married, and then they still want to have multiple options outside of their marriage, right? <laughs> this is like, why get married? The Ten of Cups, there's emotional fulfillment here. And again, the community player. I'm going to say the community chest. Pause. We got Three of Cups. This could be an amateur OnlyFans model. And then we got the Devil, yeah, Temptation. Karmic uh, contracts and that sort of thing, right? Yeah, all that glitters isn't gold. You may be beautiful, but that doesn't mean the sun shines out the crack of your ass, right? Message to Donald Trump. You might be president, but you don't have absolute power and immunity. Right? You can't turn a presidential chair into a dictatorship. This is not that type of country, unless we turn into that type of country. And then people are going to be complaining about, I have no rights. What type of rights do you have at your job? What type of rights do you have in a relationship? <laughs> well, you guys sign these contracts, right? You guys sign these W-2s. You guys sign these marriage contracts. Let's see. What's the additional message? What's the positivity that's supposed to come from this reading? 
what is your person that you're dealing with wanting to say to you at this time? How are they feeling about you? What's the message spirit for today's reading? What's the current love energy in the upcoming? We got the lovers. So I'm guessing this is a very deep, deep, caring relationship that you have with this person. Again, take it how it resonates. You may already be in a relationship with this person or you may be married to this individual. There's true love here, but I don't know what this is. I don't know if kids got in the way or if people are being immature. Right? The person that's coming towards you, um, they may have a lot to say, right? They want to communicate with you, but they don't know how. I don't know if this is distance or, if, like, um, instead of talking to you, they talk to everybody else. Instead of just calling you, they want to send you a bunch of random-ass text messages and emails, knowing that things can get misconstrued through an email or text message versus an actual, like, voice message or talking to someone face-to-face. Under that, we have the Two of Cups. So this is a divine counterpart here. This is a karmic. Ten of Wands. Like, every card after the next confirmed. Ten of Wands is burdens, right? Now, again, this could be the closing out of a cycle. Again, someone needing to apologize, right? They learned where they fucked up at. Yeah, I've, um, I channeled a reading maybe about two months ago. It was a karmic reading. I think I have it posted to my Facebook channel about a karmic realizing where they fucked up at now they want to apologize right <laughs> what's under this ten of wands man seven of pentacles something that yeah this could be marriage or a long-term relationship a friendship even does not have to be romantic this could even be a business that someone i don't know man i don't know what's up with this someone's been like running like false business practices or something like that the hangman, yeah, going through a hang-up moment. You can't build dreams on false ideas, man. You can't build successful, loving, lasting relationships on lies, right? I don't think you need a teacher to teach you that, right? There's just certain things you know inherently when you come out of your mother, right? No one has to tell you that it's wrong to kill your mother. You, you know, since she's breastfeeding you, that this is probably one of the most important people in the world. <laughs> Like, people out there, you sleeping with people that you don't trust, right? <laughs> I'm shaking my head behind these cards. <laughs> Women don't trust men with their money, but they trust men with their bodies, right? <laughs> these career women, right? Jesus Christ. I don't know what to be said about these men. Everything under the sun. That's why I can't pick one, right? <laughs> but, yeah, it's been a minute. I'm going to get back into doing some more channel messages for you guys. Love messages. Um, we'll just have to see how the channel progresses. But hopefully you enjoyed the message. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. And don't fret. This did seem kind of like a weird uh, negative reading. I don't want to put that label on it, but hey, man, these messages have to be delivered somehow. Mm -hmm. It's Capricorn season, man. Did we come out of Capricorn season yet? Yeah, so karmic, Saturn. So we will be going into Aquarius season. Mm -hmm. Well, happy birthday, star signs. This is going to be some interesting times coming up here. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>